Okay, I'm going to show you the uh, gem sieve here in action. Now, it's a dull day, the sun has gone away, so we're, we might not actually see many of the gems because the sunlight makes a huge, huge difference of seeing the gems. Now, I've already uh, shoveled a bit of stuff in here, into the gem sieve. I have an 8 inch classifier on top, so I'm going to classify down into the gem sieve with an 8 inch classifier, making anything in that gem sieve smaller than 1 8. Now the gem sieve itself has a 16th inch hole in it, so all the really small stuff will go through. The only thing left in the gem sieve will be stuff that's between 1 16th and 1 8. For doing gem sieving, you need really tight classification. You need to keep all the stuff in this classifier, in the gem sieve, one size. So that's why I've gone to a very tight 1 8 to 1 16th material. Now I'm not going to throw that stuff away because there is possible to have gems bigger than 1 8 here, so I'm going to look through that in a second. Now, the gem sieve is nice and full of all that stuff that's minus 1 8. Now when I go and pulse it in here, all the 16th stuff will fall through, leaving just that minus 8 plus 16 in here. The way you use gem sieve is you up right on the surface of the water, you rock side to side until all the material piles up in the middle like that. Right now all the heavies are in a line across the whole classifier on the bottom. We pulse it in the water and that brings everything heavy to the bottom. We rock it and it goes into a line. We pulse and rock, pulse and rock. Then every once in a while, rotate it 90 degrees and do it again. Rock and pulse, rock and pulse. Rotate and continue. Rotate and continue. Now I said a second ago that it brings it into a line, it brings it to a line straight across. When you rotate it, it takes that line and brings it to a, just a ball in the center of heavies. But they're on the bottom, underneath all the light stuff that's on top. When you're happy with what you got and you think you've done it enough, pulse it a couple times to get it nice and flat, tip it on an angle, and drain out all the water. It's important that you get the water out of this, otherwise when you flip it over, there's too much water in there, the gems will sink down under the surface where you can't see them. Okay. Right now the gems are sitting on the bottom. I can't see them because they're underneath everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over, put it down on this bed I've made of sand, and all the heavies should be on the top then. Okay, remember, don't flip it away from you, otherwise you would wear all this sand in your face. No, flip it towards you and that way you can pull it and keep it all in one cake. Just like that. Pull it off okay. and you'll see the, the circle of heavies in the middle of all of these lights. Now, if we had sunshine... Wouldn't a flashlight work? Yeah, flashlight would. You'd be able to see there's a gem right there, there's a garnet right there. We found a piece of peridot this morning, there's another garnet. What gem sifters will, sieve, sifters will often do, yeah, I see them. They'll often just go in there and collect up that middle bit and put it in a container, their pan, or maybe back into the gem sieve because they'll stay. You don't lose them. They'll stay. And the next time through, when you go and do the whole thing again, say I had, a, pretend I had a full one, when you went to flip it out, it's right there again. They're still there. Okay, who wants to? Uh, get these gems out of this. Anyone want some gems? Here, open up your pan. There you go. You got a few garnets in there. You can go find them a little later. Now, where's that quarter inch classifier? Remember I said this stuff here could have bigger gems in it? Yeah. I'm going to do it now, but all the small stuff is gone, so I'm not going to do any of the small stuff with it. Just the big stuff now. Sift it through a quarter inch classifier. Again, Tight classification. Everything in there now will be smaller than a quarter and bigger than one eighth. And I can do the same thing. Rock back and forth and pulse. Rock, pulse. Rock, pulse. Rotate. 
rocking and pulsing and rocking and pulsing and rocking. Rotate. Rotate. Now something you guys will see when I flip this over, there's a lot more big heavies here than there are small heavies. So that center ring of black stuff will be quite much, quite a bit bigger. Drain out that water. And here we go. It's hard to see here. Didn't come out all that well, but there's a big ring of dark. All this around the outside is light. This is big and dark. If there was any big gemstones, they would be in there. I don't like my flip. My flip didn't turn out well. I'm going to flatten this out. Take the center where all the heavies were and redo it. And see if I can get a better one this time. There we go. Bit better. You can actually see the ring here now of heavies. And if you want, if anyone wants to go and look through there and see if they can find any bigger garnets, you're welcome to. I'm going to leave that there for you guys to play with. Who's got the time? <laughs>